In today's video, we'll be going into gate 10. In this gate, we'll be learning the secret of the burning bush, as well as the specifics of the vision of Ezekiel and seeing the secret of the living creatures and the Merkava. We'll also be learning about the Seraphim, the Ophanim, their ministers, and much more. With that being said, the prerequisites are that you have seen our prior videos regarding Likutegira. Without further ado, let us begin. Gate 10, the burning bush. The lower seven spheroth are called a bush as compared to the collective 10 spheroth, which are called a tree. It was explained in the previous gate that the eighth day, an example of the eighth spheroth Bina, is called a fire offering to Hashem. And it is also written, a fire goes out of the throne, an example Bina, who is called both throne and fire. Thus, the bush, an example, the lower seven spheroth, are covered in the light of Bina and the secret of the fire. We'll discuss the aspects of Berea and the death of the serpent. On page 89, we're shown an image or an example of this burning bush, at least the bush before it receives its fire. This information is found in book 22 of the Zohar. On page 178, a section called The Four Deaths of Samael. This is in Shofetim. When the tree of life and the commandment candle, which are Zorin Pin and Malchut, an example, Zorin Pin are the Sphiroth Chesed, Givura, Tiferes, Netzar, Kod, and Yisod, and here the commandment candle, Malchus, are attached to that man, this verse will be applied. The bush burned with fire, the fire is, as it is written, a fire offering on the eighth day. And similarly, a fire goes out of the throne, in which the word the throne, Hakise, is a numerical value of the word Elohim, which is the name of Hashem corresponding to the sphere of Bina. This fire then engulfs the lower seven spheroth. And so it says, the bush burned with fire, but the bush was not consumed, namely man. Samael and the serpent and all of his ministers attached to the man's body, an example of the lower seven spherot. This now refers to the sums of experiences and the dross, the klipot, the zoma that built on those kalimin forms, which are thorns will be combusted, but the branches of the bush and its fruit and leaves will not be combusted. The Holy One, blessed be he, pointed this out to Moshe. Now, continuing forward in the analyzing of the lower seven spheroth. The faces of the chariot are as follows. It is written in Ezekiel, the four have the face of a lion to the right side. Commentary. The right side refers to chesed in the secret of out of his right hand goes chesed, as discussed in a previous gate. The verse continues. The four had the face of an ox to the left side. Commentary. The left side refers to Givura, which has the face of the ox. It is also called by the name of Elohim, of which in regard to the golden calf, ox, they said make for us an Elohim. Accordingly, we find on the right, the face of a lion in the sphere of Chesed, and on the left, the face of an ox, in the sphere of Givura. Givura also goes by the name of Elohim and is hinted at in the verse regarding the golden calf. The verse concludes. The four have the face of an eagle. Commentary. Eagle refers to Tiferes, 
which is the center of Zion Pin, which, as discussed earlier, is called heaven. Shemaim. With this, we can understand what is written regarding Genesis. Let there be birds over the face of the heavens. In addition, we can understand another secret with this. It was stated, Solomon was lifted up by the wings of an eagle. Solomon here is Zerainpin, an example of the heaven, the sphere of Yetzira. We see this is the secret of his 700 wives, an example, the seven sphere of Yetzira, each contain 10, which each contain 10, totaling 700. Now the center of Solomon's partzufim, an example Zerainpin, is Tifras, which is now identified as the eagle. Solomon was lifted by the wings of an eagle. Collectively, when analyzing the lower seven spheroth, it says, let there be birds over the face of the heavens. The central sphera of the parts of Zarin Pin is the sphere of Tifereth. This is called the face of the heavens. And for this reason, the bird, in example, the face of the eagle, corresponds to this face, which of course is the sphere of Tifereth. From this, we have learned the secret of the lion to the right, the ox to the left, and the secret of the Neshar, the eagle. It has been explained that these seven are covered in Bina, an example, fire from the eighth day, the eighth sphere of Bina. We will now explain the reason for this. Understand these seven sphero and subsequently their forms that exist in the world of Yetzirah are called heavens, and the world of Asiya called earth will pass away. This is as it is written in Yeshua chapter 51, verse 6. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look at the earth below, for the heavens will vanish like smoke and the earth will wear out like a garment and their inhabitants will die. Commentary. Lift up your eyes, in example, the seven aspects of the evil inclination within the seven forms that are called eyes, as discussed in a previous gate. To the heaven, an example of the sixth sphere of Yetzirah, Zerayin Pin, called heaven, Chaset Yisad, and look below to the earth, an example Malchus and Asiya. They will vanish like smoke, an example like the smoke that rises from the altar, and this will be discussed later in the Tikkuns for these. Thus the inhabitants shall die, an example, these forms, along with the serpent through the secret of the fire, and the world of Berea, which will be discussed in the following chapters. This is further alluded to by the fact that Zer Apim contains the word seven evils, Zain Ra. And the word Anpin in Hebrew, which is Apim, has a numerical value of 131. Aleph is 1, Fe is 80, Yod is 10, and Mem is 40. This is the same value as Samael. An example, Samek is 60, Mem is 40, Aleph is 1, and Lamed is 30 and no fire burns in these colors. We find here, Apim is the geometria value of Samael, and a breakdown for this on page 94. Moving onwards to page 95, we find an image of the burning bush. And we find that fire burns in these colors. An example, fire burns blue, red, yellow, green, orange, and of course, black. These fires are the types of fire that burn down below, and this is all in the secret of the burning bush, as was hinted earlier. This is because the fire that comes out of the sphere of Bina burn away the klipot from the bush, and it is called the death of Samael by burning. It is mentioned in book 22 on page 177 to punish Samael with burning through wood or the tree which to kindle fire. Blessed is that body that is wood. Its members are pieces of wood in which a fire will burn, which is the fire of the commandment in each member to burn Samael by the supernal Shekinah that is Bina, which is a tree that is Tifereth, and with all the trees, meaning the Sphiroth, that are attached to Tifereth. When the fire of the higher descends over the wood of the sacrifice, the stranger that comes near shall be put to death, because he will be burned in the fire. That is the meaning of, and the fire on the altar shall be kept burning in it. Blessed is he who is attached to the tree of life, Jezerainpin, 
with his body and limbs, for he is a candle. Each branch is a candle of a commandment, with his 248 positive commandments that correspond to the 248 body parts. That is a commandment candle for each body part. Thus we see the secret of this burning bush, and the secret of the fire, which comes from the Surah of Bina, as has been established, identified here as the supernal Shekinah. Another tikkun regarding this can be seen here. And it was mentioned of the living creatures that they had eyes all over. This refers to the seven eyes of Zorinpin, which we learned in a previous gate. And they all have the face of a man, which wasn't specific, but hence to this as well. Thus we can see the secret of this chariot and the flaming ones, the secret of the Merkava and the chariot. Now a day refers to Zorinpin, an example of the six Sephiroth Chesed to Yisot. Thus it was stated there are seven days under its mother. This means seven times six, which equals 42. This is the value of the word ima, or mother. Aleph is one, mem is 40, and Aleph is one. This alludes to the six wings each form contained. And these 42 wings are 42 seraphim, of which are called burning ones. And now we see a fire goes out of the throne, Hakise. The throne has the numerical value of the name Elohim, which is a name for Bina. We also can now understand what is written in Exodus regarding the burning bush. It states a Melach of Hashem, an example of these seraphim, which is alluded to in the word burning bush, Ish Metocha, which the head letters of this phrase Spell im, aleph, mem, the word mother. This was the secret of the name Echeya, which alludes to Bina. And the two in the secret of Echeya, Asher Echeya, which was spoken out of the burning bush, value 42. An example, Echeya is value 21. Aleph is one, He is five, Yod is 10, He is five. And the two together are 42. Bina has 50 gates of understanding, as is known, and this corresponds to the 50 times the exodus from Egypt is mentioned. From the beginning of the Torah, every 50 letters spell the word Torah, an example of the mother's Torah, as will be discussed. So we find that the head letters of the burning bush are Aleph and Mem, which spell the word mother. And we find the two Echeyas having a numerical value of 21 and 21 equal 42. We also learned that there were seven days under the mother. Seven referred to the lower seven Sephiroth, and a day refers to Zorinpin, an example of the six Sephiroth Chesed to Yisod. The seven days is seven times six, which value 42. Now we will learn the secret and specifics of these Seraphim in particulars. These 42 angels are formed in the secret of Book 1 in the Zohar, by which we find the secret of the Anabichoak, and by taking the first letter of each word, we form the 42-letter name. We find the Anabichoak mentioned on page 355 of Bereshis A. And by taking the head letters of every word, Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Yud, Tav, Tzadi, for example, and the next one, Kofresh, Ayin, Shin, Tas, Nun, and proceeding forward, we will have exactly 42 letters. This is referred to as the 42 letter name of God. As shown here, we find that these correspond also to the Sfirot. An example, the six letters Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Yutav, Sadi correspond to Chesed, Kofresh, Ein, Shintas, Nun, to Gevura, and continuing onward. 6 times 7 equals 42. We find that these correspond to the sphere of Chesed, Gevura, Tifres, Netzach, Hod, Yisod, and Malchut. Now to derive the secret of the Seraphim, we'll have to continue onward. These 42 letters of the name are divided into 6 letters, each of the 7 Sphiroth, which as explained previously are the 6 wings to each Seraph. Of course a wing here hinting to the name of Amelachim. Now, over these seraphim is the angel Metatron, which is the chieftain. As it is written, there are six steps to the throne, which are the six letters of Metatron, Mem, Tet, Tet, Resh, Vav, Nun, as described in the Zohar, Pinchas, and the chariot of Ezekiel. 
Now, these 42 seraphim, which are mentioned here, Aleph, hence to the name of Or Peniel, and base to Boel, and Gimel to Gavriel, are located in a very esoteric safer by Rav Naftali, one of the chief disciples of the Arizal. And it is found in a text called Omet HaMelech, or the depths of the king. We'll be looking in book Aleph. And he states over here in gate 11, Sha'ar Yud Aleph, that the 42 letter name of God is the secret, or these 42 letters are the secret of the seraphim. And we see them listed here. So Aleph, of course, is Or Peniel, as has been explained. Base is Boel, and Gimel is Gavriel, and it continues onwards. Thus, the 42 letter name of God gives to us 42 seraphim, as was explained in Likute. Regarding the six steps to the throne, Pinchas in Book 20 of the Zohar on page 216, page 257, it states, and the six steps of the throne, which are Vav equaling six, which is Metatron, and it includes the four living creatures, as has been explained up to this point. Thus, we find that the six steps of the throne are the six letters of Metatron. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mem, tet, tet, resh, bav, nun. And included inside of him are all the living creatures. Of course, we then see Michael, Gabriel, Noriel, and Raphael, etc. Now, having firmly understood page 98, we'll continue to page 99. These 42 letters also form the secret of 42 Ophanim, as it was described in regards to the chariots, the workmanship of the wheels. Workmanship contains the word asia, the level of the ophanim or wheels. The word wheel here is ophan and alludes to this. Thus we find the 42 letters of the Anabichoak also hint to another set of 42 melachim this being the 42 Ophanim. This listing will be found in the second volume of Ome Kamalek. Here in Sha'ar Yud Zain or Gate 17, we will see again 42 of the Anabichoak as mentioned here. And these refer to 42 Ophanim. As it states here, Ha Ophanim. Thus, we now understand there are 42 Ophanim and 42 Seraphim. Now, I will take a small moment to note something. What is the origin of this 42 letter name of God that we find there in the Zohar? The truth is hidden in the 42 letter name that was mentioned at the very beginning. An example, they stated the base of Bereshis to the base of Bohu, meaning the first 42 letters of the Torah or Genesis. Using a secret cipher, the first 42 letters of the Torah change into the 42 letter name of God as it is shown here. I will have to do a completely separate video explaining this if we merit to have such conversation. With this, we can understand the 42 Ophanim and the 42 seraphim. The head over the seraphim was Metat or Metatron, and the head over the seraphim we will find on page 100. The chieftain angel over the Ophanim is called Sandalphon, and these two are the secret of the cherubs upon the ark. Now canting Sandalphon and Metatron, 42 seraphim and 42 Ophanim, we have a total of 86. An example, 42 seraphim and 42 ophanim equal 84. The minister over the seraphim metatron makes it 85, and the minister over the ophanim sandalphin make it 86. This is the value of the name of God in the chamber of Binah, an example, Elohim, which is the value of 86, as shown here. Aleph is one, Lamed is 30, He is five, Yud is 10, and Mem is 40, collectively equaling 86 which hints to these Ophanim and Seraphim. 
It is also written regarding the bodies of the living creatures that they had eyes all about. And this is because of the seven eyes of each sub -spheroth. To each of the seven. An example of the spheroth contain all of the spheroth, and the lower seven of each spheroth are called seven eyes. It is known these seven spheroth are called eyes, thus, they were described as having eyes all about. Now we may understand what it is that we're viewing. We thus see the living creatures, an example, the lion, the ox, the eagle, we see the man, we see they each had six wings which we learned were the secret of these Melachim. And they had eyes all about. An example, each sphera contains all of the spherot, and the lower seven are specifically called the seven eyes, as was learned in a previous gate. Thus, they had eyes all about their body. We also can see from here the six letters of Metatron that was hinted at as the six steps to the throne. We learn the throne is the secret of Bina and that fire, that it goes by the name Elohim, and with this are 42 Seraphim and 42 Ophanim, as has been shown and demonstrated. This concludes this episode of our series on Likute. As always, the beginning of this video contains a QR code containing a free PDF copy of the Sefer we are currently studying. Physical copies of it are available on Amazon.com and bookbaby.com. All proceeds from these are given to Sadaka. Shalom and Selah, everyone.